view may be beautiful from the seventh floor, but this may not be. came out and said that she's in such bad shape in the ICU that she can't have any visitors. So, we're just waiting. So, please, um, make sure that you're taking care of yourself so that you don't end up in a situation like this. So, in our society, we have wonderful doctors, we have places like this, amazing hospitals. We have excellent medical systems. If you're in a situation where you need to get to the doctor, you need to get to emergency, you have to have your appointments. Oh my God, listen to your doctors. Do what your doctors are recommending. But what if we back up? And what if we think about preventative? Like, oh, you know, there's something going on when I sit still and I'm in my meditation pose. It's my hope that we don't wait until, oh my God, you know, the doctor says, you need surgery. Reach out to someone like myself, a yoga therapist, or maybe an Ayurvedic practitioner, so that then you have the tools to understand what you're hearing in your body to be preventative. In the Ayurveda, there's um, six stages of disease. The first stage of disease, the body hardly gives us any signals. The second stage of disease, we can start to feel something that is so easy to ignore. The third stage of illness, uh, it might come and go, but yet we don't really recognize it. The fourth stage can usually be diagnosed. And then the fifth and sixth stage in Ayurveda, we really can't be helpful to reverse it's something to, to be preventative. So my suggestion is when you feel that first stage of what's my body trying to say to me, get with someone like me, a yoga therapist or an Ayurvedic practitioner, or some type of alternative therapy, because usually within that role, an individual, a professional, would be able to educate you on what your body is telling you. Listen to those signs in your body. Wow, really do hope that we all are able to take care of ourselves so that we don't get into situations like this.